What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer on startup. Check it out. And of course, if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of how-to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. And just one more thing before we get started, please make sure you have some kind of tech savvy skill. If not, please find somebody that will help you out. Just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on, when we are digging around in the MS Config or the startup files, there are programs in there that are crucial to making Windows run. So you want to be very careful while we're digging around in there. So just like anything else when it comes with Microsoft, there is multiple ways to get to where you're going. Today we're going to look at how to get into your MS Config or your startup programs with a Windows 7 and also Windows 8.1 and up. So what you're going to want to do is with Windows 7, you're going to want to click left click on your start menu down in the bottom left hand corner or wherever you have your start menu at. And then you're going to just start typing the word MS config. As soon as you have MS config typed in there, just go ahead and click on enter. And a very similar box just like this is going to come up on your screen. You'll want to go to the startup tab. Now, if you are on Windows 7, you will have a list of information in this tab. You can go through and carefully uncheck the boxes that you don't want to have to start up, such as if you don't want Spotify to start up, if you don't want uh, Google Chrome Updater or Java Updater or any similar programs like that, go ahead and uncheck the box. Then you'll have the option to click apply and then click OK. We are on Windows 10, so these are the Windows, this is the Windows 10 instructions. Very similar, you can type the MS config, but as you can see, it's not actually going to take you where you need it to go like it used to with Windows 7. Easiest way to do it is right click on your, your taskbar down here, left click on task manager, and then go ahead and click on the startup tab here. Once you've got the startup tab here, you can actually go through and again, carefully monitor this list. If you don't want like CCleaner to start up, or if you don't want your Google Drive to start up, you can right click, disable or enable, or you can double left click them and that will enable or disable. And then of course you can see the current status right here and then you can see what kind of status it is. Now that we've gone through all the programs and you kind of understand how to manage your startup programs, you're probably wondering what this exactly does and it's very simple. All it does is tell your computer, okay, I want these programs to start up and I don't want these programs to start up. Keep in mind that when you disable a program from startup, it does not, not delete it from the computer. It just simply makes it a manual boot. So like if you have Photoshop and you don't want that updater on, you can actually go in and manually find the updater for Photoshop or Adobe and update it that way. It does not actually remove the program from the computer. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you loved it. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comments or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.